Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War Edition. While this series is not about the politics of the First World War, otherwise known as the Great War, to not give you a not-so-brief explanation of why it started would be a disservice to all watching. This explanation is by no means complete or in-depth, just something to keep in mind. The causes of the war can be broken down into the following things. The expansion of imperialism, nationalism, and militarism. The alliances that were caused by the imperialism, nationalism, and materialism. And finally, the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand, the match that lit the flame of war. For more than 50 years leading up to the Great War, many European countries had started expanding their power in other portions of the world, something we call imperialism. In this case, it was mostly in Asia and Africa, resulting in competition between European countries thousands of miles away in foreign lands. The expansion and proxy wars that occurred because of it was also partially fueled by the new military technologies and larger overall militaries. By the start of the war, Germany and Great Britain had expanded their navies, the armies of all the countries were modernizing, and this new influence of military technology also influenced both Russia and Germany's cultures. Both cultures were undergoing a military bent, increasing the belief by both that using their militaries might be an effective political tool. Nationalism itself had a large influence as well, each country attempting to prove their superiority over the other countries combined with the desire for the Slavic people in Bosnia and Herzegovina wanting to break away from Austria-Hungary and become part of Serbia. All these factors led to the more direct cause of war, the alliances between nations. In 1879, the dual alliance was formed. Its purpose was supposed to protect Germany and Austria-Hungary from Russia. In 1881, the Austro-Serbian alliance between Austria-Hungary and Serbia was made to stop Russia from gaining control of Serbia. In 1882, the Triple Alliance between Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Italy was made to stop Russia's attempt to ally with Italy. In 1894, the Franco-Russian Alliance was started with France and Russia to protect France against Germany and Austria-Hungary. In 1904, the Entente Cordiale was an informal alliance between France and Britain. In 1907, the Anglo-Russian Entente was formed between Britain and Russia. Again in 1907, the Triple Entente formalized an alliance between Russia, France, and Britain to counter the growing power of Germany. And finally, in 1914, the Triple Entente was updated so that none of the three countries would agree to peace with Germany if any of the other members were still at war with them. These alliances caused a few crises leading up to the war, the first being the Moroccan crisis. In 1904, Morocco had been given to France by Britain against the wishes of the Moroccans themselves who wanted to be independent. Germany, in a political move, decided to support Moroccan independence, and war was barely averted due to a conference that allowed France to retain Morocco. However, in 1911, Germany once again protested France, and Germany only backed down after Britain convinced France to give Germany part of the French Congo. The Bosnian Crisis In 1908, Austria-Hungary took over Bosnia, angering Serbians who felt Bosnia belonged to them, as both Bosnia and Serbia are Slavic. Serbia, who had the support of Russia, threatened Austria-Hungary with war. At some point, Russia backed down. Then again in 1911, the different Balkan states drove Turkey out of the area and then began a fight between the different Balkan countries over land. Austria-Hungary, taking advantage of this situation, had intervened and forced Serbia to give up some more of its land that they had acquired from Turkey, leaving tensions between Serbia and Austria-Hungary very high. On June 28th, 1914, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife, Countess Sofia, were assassinated in Sarajevo, Bosnia on their 14th wedding anniversary. The Archduke was known for being politically liberal and personally difficult. Don't worry, folks, we'll have a video specifically about this later. Upon the death of the Archduke, Austria delivered an ultimatum to Serbia on July 23rd, demanding that Serbia ban all propaganda directed towards Austria, shutting down the organizations responsible for the death of the Archduke and for all political unrest. In addition, Austria gave Serbia only 48 hours to respond or they would declare war. In truth, Austria did not believe any country would agree to these terms. It was a pretext for them to invade Serbia. To everyone's surprise, Serbia agreed to everything but allowing Austrian police into their country since Serbia was an independent country. This agreement surprised everyone, including Austria. At this point, Austria disposed of any pretext of being offended and instead just declared war on Serbia on July 28th. However, before Austria could mobilize for war, they're beaten to the punch by Russia, who immediately wanted to take advantage of this and seize Constantinople. Russia declared war on Austria-Hungary, and in return, Germany stepped in on August 1st and declared war on Russia and Serbia, supporting their ally Austria-Hungary. In turn, France, who had encouraged Russia's actions through the alliances and who wanted to regain the territory of the Alsace-Lorraine from Germany that they had lost 40 years prior, 
followed through themselves supporting Russia and Serbia and declared war on Germany and Austria-Hungary. Unfortunately, France's support of Russia, who supported Serbia, resulted in Great Britain being dragged into the war itself. Great Britain had not entertained any ideas of expansion at this time, and may be the only other major combatant other than the United States who later joined the war as not having the idea they could use this war to expand their influence. Thus began the First World War. That's it for our too brief intro into the causes of the Great War. Join us in future episodes to learn more about the battles of the Great War that lasted from 1914 through 1918 and resulted in the largest war to that date, utilizing some of the most horrifying weapons ever seen in battle even to this day, with 17 million dead, a generation shattered, and the stepping stones of World War II being put into place. Thank you, and join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War Edition.